In the previous episode, we defeated Atlas, and it was, uh, it was fairly disappointing, actually. But you guys let me know in the comments that that boss has been in this mod for quite some time, and it's just, uh, it's not, it's, 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 you know, it's an old boss that hasn't been refreshed, uh, compared to some of the other stuff pre-hard mode, and most of the hard mode stuff has just really not been touched, which is why it's been fairly downhill since we got into hard mode with, with these particular bosses in the spirit mod, which is totally fine. If they come back to it and get those all updated, and Gucci, I've been having a, a great time with um, with this mod in particular. So in between episodes, I went and farmed out some truffle worms, right? So we could do some Duke, because that's going to be next on the list. I don't think I'll need more than three. We'll see, though. And then I also went over to put the platform down. I got that. So we got our little arena there. Uh, maybe it would be better to fight. I don't, I don't know if it's better to fight over there. And then finally, I went back to the dungeon for a little bit, got some specter bars, which actually happened fairly quickly. And, you know, now we got my specter wings for this. So, yeah, looking forward to checking this out. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> so when I take screenshots, you know, I can't take a screenshot for the thumbnail with this crazy glow effect. It just doesn't work. So you got you to sometimes take things off, put them on different places. Oh, I have a feeling, though, that this is like hiding my face in a weird way <laughs> oh well oh well all right what are we gonna do today uh we're gonna go do duke probably gonna be a fairly short episode nothing wrong with that let's go uh pop on over and then after duke is empress we're skipping betsy lunatic cultist moon lord we're right at the end and what i should say before we dive into this boss fight is that uh, we did not make the quota that I had set out to do in order to do the Calamity Inferno mod. So we're not going to be doing Inferno. However, however, everybody who became a channel member, thank you very much. I'm glad that you supported the channel and tried to help out with that. Um, you now get to go and vote for the next series. I put up a poll. It's on the community page. Uh, if you're on the mobile app and you're a channel member, you can probably just see it in your subscription feed. Uh, but it's a it's a poll to see what we're going to play next. And again, thank you to all the channel supporters that helped out, um, the channel members and patrons and all that. Uh, yeah, you could go vote on the channel member poll. It's exclusive. You can only see it if you're a channel member. And if you become a channel member now, you go vote in it still. And those votes are going to have a lot of weight. So your opinion is going to matter a lot because there's far fewer votes coming in with that particular vote. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, the steampunker has arrived. Everybody kind of died when I did that boss fight. Uh, let's see here. Let's pop this down. Bloop. And we'll get this boss going. Uh, I don't think I really need a whole heck of a lot. Oh, I didn't put the... Oh, I did. There it is. Let's do it. Hoping for the best. Gonna try melee. I like the Terra Blade a lot. I feel like the Terra Blade is hyper good and I'm hoping that this armor set kind of helps us out a little bit but it's hard to tell because this armor set's a little bit more hybrid so there's a chance I may swap to the beetle set um, and then use the good old fancy uh, uh, accessory that we had which reduces our defense to zero but gains us additional damage based on the point of points of defense that we lost which is like really crazy good <laughs> we get like you know I, th I think it's like something like 60 percent extra damage which is why we killed atlas so fast when we did it as melee it's really good like it's hyper good but this seems to be going just fine i've gotten better at duke over the over the years i'm doing terraria on the channel i used to suck real bad at him he used to be my least favorite boss but honestly you, you could see the uptick of when I started getting good with uh, Duke Fishron. And it was when I did it on the uh, Fargo Soul Mod. Once I beat him in Fargo's, uh, this boss fight got a lot easier. I don't, I don't know. It's just like that one little thing just changed everything for me. It's doing it when it was that difficult. Calamity also, you know, helped a bit, I would say. But Calamity changes it so much that it's hard to to justify like oh yes no i am i am measurably better at this fight because i did it in calamity it's like well that's not quite how it works <laughs> right because you need um you need a similar fight in order to get better at it right okay got hit there 
This is going pretty well. We should be able to do this. You never know. I might screw it up. It happens. It's been known to happen. <laughs> there we go. One shot. Okay, that feels pretty good. Well then. Uh, what did we get? Maybe we'll just do the fight again. Uh, got the blah, blah, blah. Got the typhoon, actually. I don't think I've ever used the typhoon. Didn't it get changed recently? Shoots sharks at nearby enemies. Pretty good. Let's put our relic down. Man, that feels good. Got that done with very quickly. Man, it does a lot of damage, doesn't it? For a yo-yo. Don't we have all the yo-yo accessories too? I, oh, also, I found out a new bug. <laughs> you you see how, like, anytime that I would jump worlds, so I've been prepping for the next, uh, the next Terraria series, so I've been jumping into some other mods and kind of debating what I wanted to put on the pool. And anytime I change worlds, it, you know, the adventure has a new quest for us, which is totally fine. But the thing is, I've also noticed that when fighting Atlas, when he dies, because I haven't changed worlds at all <laughs> since the last time, and I noticed this uh, during the Atlas attempts when he respawned one time, when fighting Atlas, he gets his quest back after he dies too. That's the only other time that he's done that, and it's been really odd, and I tested it one last time when I got my screenshot for the, the thumbnail of the last episode too. I was like, wait a second, because I was editing it. That, that doesn't make any sense. It's just like a weird little, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't expect it. That's, that's the weird things of game design where, like, why is that happening? And if you try to fix it, you're gonna break 10 other things, so. Anyways, just uh, if, if the spirit mod developers are watching, it's just, uh, I, I noticed that. <laughs> we get a lot of mod developers actually that watch this channel and I'm very happy for that. I don't know why that is, um, precisely. I, I mean, I used to work in game development, so maybe I provide a, a sense of uh, train of thought, which is, I mean, that's, that's like an oxymoron for me. Maybe I pr provide a train of thought that is, uh, aiding other game developers, but who knows? All right, let's look at uh, the yo-yo back. Did I have it in here? I did, I did. Is that the only yo-yo thing? I don't remember. So let's say I, I, I do this and I use the Typhoon. I'm very curious how good this thing actually is. It's also not, I mean, it's hurtful, but it's possible I could re-roll this and get a lot out of it. I mean, it shoots freaking sharks at nearby enemies. Let's go test it out. I don't think I've ever used the Typhoon. Maybe once recently? Hard to tell. Are we gonna get some enemies over here? Hey, buddy buddies. I mean, that's really good. Also, why is my DPS meter just not showing? Is it because I have it turned off? Damage per second. Oh my goodness, how did I do that? How long has it been like that? It's been like that a while. I'm just like m multiple episodes ago. You know what? Let's go try this boss fight again with the Typhoon. I'm probably gonna die, but you know what? Like I, number one, I need the wings, right? I need the wings. Let's just do no jump cuts today, by the way. <laughs> I need the wings. So let's let's fight it again with a yo-yo. I, I hope this works. I also hope that I don't have another yo-yo um, accessory that I'm forgetting. I think it's just the bag. Goodness, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? As long as that keeps the boss close, this is like insane. Oh, it's actually pretty easy to pop those bubbles too. This is, <laughs> this is next level. I don't need the mini map on. I thought I needed the mini map on for the last phase, but apparently not. This is doing so much damage. Holy crap. 1500 DPS. <laughs> Out of the way of those sharks. I probably should be fighting him down there, or at least what I should be doing is popping the, uh, the little turret thing, the sentry up here. That would probably be pretty good. It's odd that I only break the bubbles when I'm aiming at them with the yo-yo. It's kind of annoying. Like, I actually have to cursor over them. It reminds me of, like, the clicker class mod. <laughs> This is another mod I've never done, but maybe I should. It's very good. Oh, this last phase is going to be a pain in the booty to actually aim. I don't think I'm going to do this. Maybe. I mean, that yo-yo just does so much damage. Holy crap. <laughs> should we kill the... Ooh, should we kill the Moon Lord with a yo-yo? Is that the new... Is, is that the... The, uh, the... Whatchamacallit? Did we get another one? We did. Is that the new challenge we're going for? It's the Typhoon... 
It's definitely in vanilla Terraria, right? We just got the Flareon. Did this get changed too? Oh no, wait, this, I think this got changed in a, an update we don't currently have. All right, you know what? I'm gonna quickly look up the Typhoon. I don't remember this. <laughs> I don't remember using this. This is a spirit mod weapon. Why, what, what yo-yo am I remembering? It's not the Terrarian. Maybe it is the Terrarian I'm thinking of. This is totally a spirit mod weapon. This is an insane weapon. Um, they also have a few other yo-yos that's added in hard mode. The Terrestrial Ultimatum. Uh, how much, how much damage does this that thing do? Hold on, we're, we're on the wiki. We're on the wiki, everybody. Uh, it's not popping up. How much damage does it do? There it goes. Okay, it's like uh, 124. Where does that come from? Martian Saucer. Okay, interesting. And the Eye of the Inferno, I'm assuming, comes from Infernon. Let's double check that. Uh, yep, and that does 42 melee damage. Wow, okay, so this Typhoon is insane. <laughs> Uh, maybe I go maybe I go re-roll the typhoon. We're gonna use that instead of terror blade for a little bit. I think maybe that is the case. What else do we got? Empress? I'm not yo-yoing Empress. Oh my goodness. Lunatic cultist, I could totally do, but honestly. Let's oh crap. Are we even at the time frame? Uh I think I may have missed the time frame to go get the uh night wings. Uh let's 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 go look and see if we can capture some butterflies. Otherwise. I m may be very bored just <laughs> sitting around not actually doing anything in the hallowed. Did I call these things night wings? I think I said night wings. Isn't that a lace wing? I think it's a lace wing. Did I say lace wing or did I say night wing? I don't remember. It was just dawning on me that I may have said the wrong word. I was like, wait a second. It's like, have you, <laughs> have you ever been in a situation where you call someone by the wrong name, but you don't realize it till like after you've left. I had this happen uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. I was at the game store that I play board games at, and uh, <laughs> there was a guy who came in. He was he was just looking for some stuff, and he came over and asked me some painting advice, and I've met him before, and I know his name. And as he's leaving, I say, you know, bye, and I insert his name. I'm not going to dox him here. Um, <laughs> And apparently I said the wrong name and he didn't correct me. And it was like 10 minutes later, I'm getting ready to leave the store. So I say, peace out. I'm walking out and it dawns on me that I said the wrong name and I've not mentioned it to him since. I've seen him like twice already since then. And I've said his, I've said his actual name, right? So I, I've in his brain, hopefully I have corrected it, but uh, it was very awkward. That kept me up one night where it, I like, I realized it, it dawned on me. What is that? Oh, it's a background. It was like, I realized it dawned on me. And, uh, there's been a couple nights where I've just laid in bed going, oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I decided to do Duke again because I was clearly outside the time frame to get those little butterflies to spawn, which that happens. So instead of wasting time, I'm going to come do the last truffle worm that we had because I farmed up three thinking I might need them. <clears throat> Turns out this this boss was way easier for us than I anticipated being melee. So handling this, I'm like, okay, let's let's try to get the wings, or like even worst case scenario, a razor blade typhoon. That would be kind of nice, but but that's because we're running this like hybrid armor, and that might make doing uh, Moon Lord kind of interesting because it means that I could run. I mean, outside of accessories, and this is kind of the problem with oh my goodness i got like wrecked there oh come on let's get out of there um that's an interesting thing um with the fact that in the latest update of terraria you've got the loadouts and heck in the in the modded version we're about to play of terraria on the next series we're gonna have loadouts which is gonna change everything for me in a lot of ways it could be really nice but i think that um it what is this thing Packing crate. What is a packing crate? Okay, then. Um, <clears throat> it would be nice to have like a, a loadout where it could be like, okay, here's all of my mage stuff and here's all of my melee stuff, and then I can hit F1 to F2 and F3 and swap between them all on the fly, right? Ooh, what's this? Someone's a tiny fish run. I always hide these. And I forget to turn them back on. Oh, you know what? I love it. <laughs> We're using it. Yeah, because then I, like, during a boss fight, it could be like, it would be 
it would behoove me during this phase of the boss fight to have, you know, all this stuff. There's that razor blade typhoon. That's beautiful. Perfect timing. But then other times I would really like a different loadout. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. The first phase of Plantera is pretty straightforward. A, a, like a huge single target damage build, maybe even like a ranger build would be really, really nice there. Um, whereas the final phase is kind of chaotic. And if you have like piercing damage or big AOE damage, uh, it, it makes that phase a little easier, at least in my opinion. So for me, <clears throat> it'd be really nice to like swap between ranged and melee or something like that, right? So that's kind of the idea behind it. It's, it's ruthless. It's better. Yeah, let's go with it. So, oh, this looks similar. So yeah, I, I kind of think that the next series is going to be really interesting and the fact that I can swap between loadouts and that may very well change how I do boss fights. And I, honestly, I actually think that that is the way to play high level Terraria. It's once you can change loadouts, um, having everything just on a fly ready to go. So that way for certain bosses, you can have a different loadout or for, um, events, you can have a different loadout or different phases of boss fights. I'm, I'm assuming you can change them in the middle of boss fights. I actually have not played a lot of, uh, the most recent Terraria update just because I play a lot of uh, modded. So I'm really looking forward to actually jumping in and doing modded on that. So if you're a channel member, make sure you go vote because like I said, your vote is going to have a massive impact on what series we end up doing next.